guys welcome to my first installment of how to fake it now i know some of you are probably like mal that's a little rude you know it's a little crazy to name it like that but it got your attention didn't it so now that i've blabbed for a couple of seconds and a bunch of products have come across the screen that i have not explained to you what they are for um just kidding gonna explain later as the tutorial goes on so Bear with me for a second here. But how to fake it is my idea of showing you guys what I feel like YouTube is missing. A whole bunch of these new products are all out on display and being topped up and trying to be, um, you know, sold to you guys, but some of you either don't have the money for it or just don't know how to use it. So this segment is going to be based on showing you guys what you already have and how to utilize it and make it work for you and let those products that you already have be put to better use. Multitasking products. And in this feature, we're going to learn how to highlight and contour using those products. My model here is my sister and I'm just using 70% isopropyl alcohol. And this is just to sanitize my hands. You always want to make sure that you clean your hands, wash them or whatever it is before you touch a client's face or your own. Bacteria spreads really easily. Now here I'm just adding a little bit of foundation by Maybelline and spritzing my sister's face with some Fix Plus as a base. She has pretty dry skin and Fix Plus has a glycerin base which is super hydrating. So if you put that on before you do the foundation, it leaves a better, cleaner canvas for the foundation to sit on. Particularly foundation is the first thing that goes on the face after primer and moisturizer and making sure that the skin is a nice soft and supple base before the foundation goes on will ensure a better foundation application for you. You won't have to work so hard to make it look like a clean application. Good skincare equals good skin equals a really good makeup foundation application. Here, I'm just applying a Revlon concealer. I believe this is the Color Stay concealer, and it's only slightly lighter than my sister's skin tone. I'm going to apply one coat here, and then you'll see me go back in a little bit and do a second coat. Um, sometimes building up the product in these cases, while the product is like semi-drying, it helps for a better application, and it also will help the skin to absorb the product and for it to last a little bit longer. Now here is the second application. So this is the concealer along with a white cream base by the company NYX or NYX, however you want to say it. Um, those two products mixed together make a lighter white cream base. So for this highlighting, I put that on top of every area that I want to stand out here to highlight. And this base is going to serve also as a base, another base, if you will, for other shimmery highlights that you can put on that you'll see me put on a little bit later on. But especially for people who don't want to wear a whole lot of makeup, or just don't wear a lot of makeup in general, using a white cream base, and especially for fair skin here, white cream bases come in handy because you can mix them in to make a lot of other lighter colors. And in this case, with my sister being so fair, it's not very common in the makeup product world to find something that is so light where it is a highlight for her. So we custom make it. Here you also see me sort of measuring out where her jawline is, or I'm sorry, where her cheekbone is. And now I'm just going to mark it with this like medium toned grayish brown color. This is where I'm going to start her contour. If you're a first time contour, um, this is a good way to sort of get a feel for where your jawbone is and, or I keep saying jawbone, I'm sorry, um, where your cheekbone is and it'll make blending out a whole lot easier. You won't lose your place. If you lose sight of where your cheekbone is, I can promise you this already slightly exaggerated makeup look 
not your everyday makeup look is going to look jacked up. <laughs> I will promise you that. Highlight and contour is not something people do every day, or it shouldn't be something people do every day. It is extremely theatrical, really only made for the movies and for celebrities that are being heavily photographed and have perfect lighting. However, if you're going to do it, do it right. And if you lose sight of where your actual cheekbone is, it's going to look silly. So here I'm just taking that same contour color and I'm putting it up on my sister's forehead and then along underneath the jawline and then you'll see me also put it on the sides of the nose. The purpose of contour is to make all of the natural features just stand out a little bit more and become a little bit more pronounced. Um, in some cases this can result in looking like you've had some weight loss or maybe like you know some work done and if people comment on that then you've done your job well. Here it's just merely for purposes of showing you guys but this is going to be something that she can go and get photographs on and be heavily photographed and her face isn't going to be her features I'm sorry aren't going to be washed out by f heavy lighting and photography now here I am applying a it's like a champagne sort of satin eyeshadow notice I'm using eyeshadows for both highlighting and contouring. So you don't need that brand new highlight and contour palette, like the newest product on the market. Chances are you guys probably will have a brown shadow or a champagne shadow to put on top and sort of maybe semi set some of this highlighting and contouring underneath. So you're not going to have to go out to buy these products. If you have a white shadow and you have a yellow shadow, mix those two. Try to play around with what you have and make that stuff work for you. There's really no sense in going out and buying a color that really you could just have by mixing two different colors, you know? And I'm just going over the same parts that I highlighted with the cream stuff before. So this is the center of the forehead, right above the eyebrow, the center of the eyebrow, tops of the cheekbones, going down the center of my sister's nose, the bow of the lip, and then the, the top of her um, jawline. And I also did kind of sweep it right underneath the contour color that I did on her cheekbone area. That's only just going to further um, sorry, I'm like losing my place here, but it's only going to further exaggerate the contour and make it more sharp. That again, contour is already sort of, you know, a little bit dramatic, but doing that will only further emphasize and make those two applications stand out from one another. And the white I'm putting on top because again, my sister is pretty fair. So white in this case will only make that highlight stand out just a little bit more than with that ivory that ivory color or like that champagne -y color that I added before and this lipstick I'm going to use as a cream blush now you can use whatever you want for this step just kind of going back to the whole product of multi um, products multitasking for you guys this is an awesome way that you guys can get the perfect blush color but not have to pack a whole thing like a whole palette of blush colors here if you have a lipstick and you really love that color of lipstick and you don't know what color to wear so that it matches your whole makeup look why don't you just try taking that lipstick warming it up in your hand and applying it to your cheek it's the same thing you could also use if you want to stay with like the whole powder um, the whole powder thing here you can try using eyeshadows if you have like a really nice pink eyeshadow and sort of set that lipstick on your cheek with another eyeshadow again making products multitask for you now I know in the last video in my intro I told you guys how I worked for Estee Lauder for a number of years and this product is called advanced night repair 
And this product has hyaluronic acid in it. It's a serum that you're really supposed to be wearing before your moisturizer to help lock in any moisture. But since my sister does have dry skin, applying it to the tops of the cheekbones here will only further emphasize any light that gets directed towards her face. And you'll see in a second how it just sort of slightly emphasizes the glow of those satin shimmery products underneath that makeup. So hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here. And I did do it on both sides of the face so you guys can see the difference, but here's the before and the after. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. I think it turned out really great and we'll see what else we can do in the future as far as what you guys would like to see. Um, I know that I have tons of topics in my own mind. Um, and actually really shortly, this is just one in particular as I was talking about with the uh, different contour types. You really wanna try to stick with a gray or um, like grayish brown color for contouring, not an orange bronzer for contouring. And I'll show you the differences here. When you use gray tones, gray is a natural shade. So you see on the right side, that grayish color is definitely something that will be more, think of a shade, you're sitting under the tree, that's a natural shade color. Shades are not orange. <laughs> so just to kind of show you guys an idea of what I was going with. Say hi to all your fans, bro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe and remember that you guys are loved. Thanks.